Welcome gang, this is a video for Wi-Fi installation. installation. I've just ordered this from the... Mm, where have I ordered it from? Motorhomewifi.com I'll put a link in the description for this anyway, but basically this is the antenna for increased connectivity or signal. And we've got the router and you get a free SIM with it which you can top up obviously the cables that you need and you get different fittings and fixtures for if you're doing a coach build or coach build motorhome fix or you are doing a panel van which is what I'll be doing today so basically you want to start with this which is going in the roof so I'm not sure whether this nut is actually going to fit back on there, but what you want to do first is take this nut off here. And also this washer. So you've got about a 25 30 millimeter thread here. I think that I might be able to get that back on the other side once that's on, but we'll see once that's through the roof. So what I did first of all was what you want to do first of all is measure the die which is 170 um, then I'm going to get up on the roof and measure the center of 170 which will be 85 millimeters and then I'm going to drill a pilot hole and then via the instructions it tells you to use a 25 millimeter hole saw so I'm going to do that cut the hole saw and then file the edges touch it up with some rust proof paint and then I'm going to sit this in with this adhesive strip peel this off this is a got an adhesive strip it says you don't need to apply any extra adhesive so I'm not going to apply any on this occasion as I'm putting this on a flat spot you can actually get the the, the fitting kits which are like a thicker rubber or foam that go on the bottom here and that goes over the ridges that you do get on top of uh, panel vans if you do need to put it on if you if your van's got loads of ridges on the top or if there isn't a, a space where you can put this down without it sitting on top of a ridge you can buy the the extra fitting kit so let's get these hole drilled and sit it in place So once you've got the antenna on the roof and the nut on the back, the cables that are already attached to the antenna, which run to here, this is what is on the end of them cables, one side of these lock and nuts. This is the other side, which is on the end of the coaxial cables. These are the long cables that are supplied with the pack. So you want to screw these together and then you basically run these cables down to wherever you're going to situate your router. In this case, I've run them down where all the rest of the wires have gone behind this board. This is actually the spare of them cables. 
and then I've just drilled them through the back of this board and then they come out at the bottom here and plug into the bottom of this back box which I've fixed to the, the ply here. Uh, but look in the back, we've got the power cable. This is just wired round the back here and through this hole and that is spliced straight into the 12 volt switch board and then once them three cables are plugged into the box at the rear you use the self adhesive sticky tape stick your router on the front here and then simply connect these wires up to your router so once the 12 volt power is coming from your 12 volt switch board you'll switch this little switch on the top and then your router should be good to go that's it quick video on motorhome wi-fi one thing to mention that i didn't in the video the little power cable that comes from the back box there is it's basically a 12 volt cable and one of the sides of the wires has a little white line running down it, down it. so if you're getting the same kit the side with the little white line running down it is the positive side of the cable and this applies for any other appliance that you might get that will have the line down that usually is the positive cable so basically the plug that was on the end of this i've chopped off and that's just going to get wired straight into the router so yeah, this little antenna will give us, well, the say five times the connectivity, connectivity, connectivity uh, for our Wi-Fi. So we'll be able to stay connected and stuff like that while we're abroad. So yeah, hope this has been helpful. Follow our new Instagram page, No Stripe Van Life, and leave your comments, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time, peeps. Thank you.